Okay, in this segment we're going to go and look at how to configure a push button, just a simple push button to throw a switch. And I don't want to use two switches, I want to use the same switch, push once, it'll throw one direction, push again, it'll throw the other direction. Okay. And what's important about this also is I want this to work with my Panel Pro interface as well. So I would be able to throw from either the PC or locally, let's say the computer's off, I just want to throw the switch locally. This is how you would do it. Personally, I give us one chance in three. Okay, so here we are at the computer. We're going to go ahead and take a look how we wired it out. If you remember, we wired it out so that the push button, here, let me slide over a little bit more, is on IO.8. And I have a single push button here. So what I want to do is have this push button alternate either throwing or closing the switch, right? Push it once and it goes in one position, push it again, goes to the other. Uh -huh. So on the one input, I'm gonna have two different commands come out of it. All right, so we go back to our <clears throat> configuration module here, our CDI. Um, and, and the way we're gonna do this here, let me hang, before we get into it, I wanna make sure we understand. You always wanna use the destination event to throw things like turnouts or outputs. What? In other words, if I have a push button, if I have something like on JRMRI or a CTC panel where I have multiple places where I could activate something, I want them to all use the same event IDs and point to that final control device, in this case, a turnout. Okay. So when we configure this, we're going to use the same turnout commands that throw the turnout through JMRI or any other method. So first step here, let's go through it. Line 8, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, very creative name, PB for push button. Output function is not an output, right? It's a signal uh, or switch that's coming in. Input function, disable. So we in the past, we've been using this active high or active low, but I'm going to use this alt action high. What that means is it's alternating, and it's going to alternate between sending two um, events. First time I push it, it'll send one event, and then I push it again, it'll send another event. And we'll configure that so it switches, and what that's going to do is going to tell the turnout, the first event is going to throw it to thrown, and the second turnout push button press is going to throw it to closed. So we'll go use Alt Action, and I'm going to use High, because the way this is wired is normally the push button has a low input. When I touch the button, it shorts out to high voltage or 5 volts, and that creates a high signal. So it's on a high signal, it alternates back and forth. All right, so that's all set up. I'm going to go ahead and write all these, save the changes. And then down here is where I'm going to work. So when this event occurs, that's an output side. We don't want the output. We want an input, event one and event two. Okay, We're not going to use this number down here. So event one, two, these are all configured, preset up, but we're not going to use them. We're going to go back to our turnout. Remember, the turnout is what we want to activate. So when the turnout event one, this 30 number, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back over here to line eight. So when event one, upon this action, well, let's first do this. The input turns on, and I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to send this 30 signal. So when the event, this thing turns on, I'm going to send the 30 signal. And that says that that's turnout's thrown. I'm going to save the changes. Same thing for event two, input off this time, write that, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it and manually change it to 31 because we know what it is. It's 30 and 31, right? So write that. Now, let's see if that works. Um, I should have it configured, so I'm going to go over here and push the push button. Turn off and turn on. I don't know if you can hear it but it's throwing the turnout. You know what I'll do is I'll bring up the panel that we just made. So manually, I can throw it to throne, and sure enough, it's in the throne state. I throw it back to the main state, and I'm gonna push that push button on it. And see, since I use the same commands, not only does the switch follow, um, the turnout follows the push buttons, it also follows JMRI. So it doesn't matter if I throw the switch from here or from the push button on the demo layout. It all works the same. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.